Hello widget watchers welcome back to another video. In this video we are going to implement WebView in Flutter application. So for integrating WebView in Flutter application, we are going to make use of WebView Flutter package, so add this package in your pubspec.yaml file. And then tap on to this pub get option. Now close this file and open your app level build.gradle file, and here you make sure that your min SDK version is defined to 23, now close this file, and open your Android manifest.xml file, and here inside this application tag, make sure to add mark uses clear text traffic property to true. Okay so this was it for the Android part. Now let's add the configuration for iOS, so come into iOS folder, then runner, then this info.plist file, and come down here and here add this four line of code in this file. Okay now close this file and come into the main.dart file. And from here remove this center widget from the body part, and here add web view and then add the initial URL, and JavaScript mode to restrict it. Now here initial URL, is set to Flutter's documentation site, so yes. Now run the app and you can see our Flutter's official page is opened up, now so our web view is working fine, and from here you can access the side drawer of your website and other things. Now let's here make a floating action button, and as of now let it be empty and come up above here and for here let's create the web view controller and mark this property as late, because we are going to initialize it inside our floating action button. Okay so now come to this web view part and here add the property, on web view created so here we can assign the controller value. Oh our controller has the underscore so let's add that, now here add the property of on page started. So this will return current PAG's URL, so here you can print any message or do any specific task that is required for that web page, let's here create a toast message that will say page is loading. You can specify any task that you want to perform here, now let's he add you new URL when user tap on this floating action button and here let's give the YouTube URL so now when user will tap on this floating action button, a new page will open for YouTube. Okay now let's just save the code and the snack bar is visible now tap onto this floating action button and here again we have this message appeared and now we are landed on the YouTube page. This was cool. Now you can also modify the web page using every JavaScript. So let's comment this line, and here add the async and here let's change the design of that web page, okay so for that you need to use the evaluate JavaScript function and here you can add your JavaScript string, Okay so let's try to remove the header of the web page. So for that here add get document dot get element by id then here add the main component name we want to remove header so I'm here adding header, then give it the index like the top header. Then change the style property to the display and make none so that no header will be visible. Now save the code and you can see our web page is loaded. Now tap onto this floating action button and you can see now header is not visible. Let's run this application again, so that it will be more clear to you, now you press to this floating action button and you can see hater is not visible. So this was the basic implementation of WebView. You modified the setting at any setting or you can perform a tons of operation operation there. So yeah this was it for this video purpose. If you found this video helpful then please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to Widget Wisdom, so that you will never miss another video.